Alright, attempt two, take two. Uh, I don't, I don't really like how the first one went. Felt kind of rambly. Looks like you might be out of frame. I'm going to be really sad, because I'm hopefully only going to do this one more time. <sighs> I just want to show the TV. It's in uh, a goofy resolution. It should be. Let's see. Last time, it was set to 1920 by 1080 for a little while, but then it put itself back in whatever in this. I can't launch my AMD software to see anything either, to see, like, uh, see what's going on. I have to restart the computer to make that happen, because sometimes it just breaks. Like I said, my computer's kind of old. It's got an Intel CPU with the Ryzen graphics card. <laughs> um... I had the appointment this morning with the mental health person. Uh, it went okay, I guess. I don't know. I'm always like a little weird and standoffish with people because, again, it's like, well, I don't know what people can do to me. And, uh, yeah. So I talked with her, and I might be able to get on like a grant program, but I don't know. They were kind of talking about like, well, can you have Medicare? And I'm like, no, I, I'm out of the income limitations for Medicare. So we'll kind of just see. I've just said in my bank statements for the last two months. Um, it's like my gear's too short. Yeah, so I've just said in my bank statement for the last two months um, to potentially qualify for the grant. I'm throwing myself off. Yeah. Uh Longer or shorter? Longer. Yeah. So we'll kind of just see with that. Again, I have to send the statement, and it'll probably take a little while to like actually see if I qualify or not. But maybe it'll be good for me. I don't know. I don't really want to be on a bunch of medication, but I kind of like to like work on my mental health or something. Because again, it's just constantly being depressed all the time is uh, super miserable. Like, uh, you just can't enjoy anything. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm somewhat enjoying myself in this. And it's just because it's challenging. I, I don't know, like, <laughs> the sim is kind of like its own thing. Why do I feel like I broke this? The sim is kind of like its own thing. I, I don't know. Separate from normal gaming, I guess, because it's just like, it's a physical thing. It's a challenging thing. It takes a level of focus that I don't get with anything else. And I've always seen drifting as like, it's pretty much the only gaming thing that I do that's kind of like relaxing or chill in any way. It's not like, I'm not like trying to be the best or trying to do like whatever. It's like, uh, I don't know. Drifting is almost like a, like a art, like a meditation thing. Like it's, I don't know. It's it's like a it's a it's a Zen thing. It's, it sounds so dumb, but I, drifting has always been that for me since uh, let's just say Gran Turismo Five. Drifting has just been something that I found fun, and I could just I died basically. I basically died there. Something that I can just do that it's like not to say that you can't like. It's your own style, like, you know what I mean? Like, however you drift, like, good or bad, like, did you make it through the corner? Like, oh, dude, sweet. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's all, as long as you're not, like, ramming people, I don't care how you're drifting. Like I said, it's just kind of, like, it's your own style, your own, like, form of whatever. Like, I don't have a, um, I don't have an e-brake. My clutch is my e-brake. I basically live in a gear. And then I I worked from there. I'm like, all right, I don't know anything about tuning. I'm like, all right, what are like the two or what are the three? I tuned three things. It'd be turbo, uh, gearbox, and tires. And if I can't tune those three things and make a car good, then I can't use that car. I'm just like, oh, that car's sexy. I don't really, I don't like that one. And then I just move on to the next car in the pack. Like there's a couple good cars in in every pack for me. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Um, it seems bad. I, I can't. I don't feel like I can afford my mental health care, right? I don't feel like I can afford to spend money on my mental health care. 
But then at the same time, I told myself, like, right after, because, again, the second time I've shot this, like, I'm probably going to end up with a computer this year. Like, I find it hard to believe that I'm going to hold off for 12 months of digging through Facebook Marketplace ads, and at some point, I'm not going to stumble across, like, a 3080 with, like, I don't know, a 5900X for, like, 600 bucks or so like i just it's probably gonna happen at some point or somebody's gonna post up like their rig you know i really like to have like a backward seating position and all types of stuff but like basically i'm just like a shark waiting for an opportunity even though i'm also poor and i can't afford uh basic health care i'm probably gonna get a fucking 30 60 ti or something this year like it just i it sounds so dumb I just feel so dumb. I just, I don't know. <laughs> I'd like to say that I don't feel like I'm in charge sometimes, but I'm clearly here. I'm clearly the only person here. I just, I don't, I don't know what to do with myself. I don't want to make this one super long because yesterday's was like a huge pain to upload. It was just being all goofy. And it took like an hour and a half, almost two hours to upload a 10 minute video. So, yeah, I don't know, but hopefully we can work on our mental health care a little bit, but I don't feel like I have the money for it. Yeah, I don't know. It's, I don't know. I don't know what to do with myself. Like, I, there's certain things that it's just like, I'm an opportunist, so if an opportunity presents itself, I can't help myself but to take the opportunity, especially if I know that it's a ridiculous one, I end up taking it. Like, I don't know. It's part of the, like, I don't know if that's part of the shopping addiction or if that's just, like, trying to be a savvy shopper. Like, I don't know what, is, I don't know what I am sometimes. What I do know is that, I don't know, I'm tired, I'm stressed out. Uh, the meeting yesterday at work, I, that was, like, one of the most important things. I can't believe, it's like, I might get laid off. And then now it's, like, it doesn't appear to be so. The meeting wasn't even about, like, layoffs or anything. It was, like, it, anything. It was literally just, like. Hey, if anyone's got any cool ideas, you could win some money. It's like, oh, okay. I mean, I don't care. But, yeah. We're not getting laid off? Cool. That's all I cared about. So, it does not appear that I'm going to be laid off. At least not this week. You know what I mean? Maybe maybe in a couple of weeks. Ugh. That corner is always super difficult. But, yeah. Just kind of play it by ear. And see what happens. Send this lady my bank statement things. See if I qualify for the grant. If I don't, just move on with myself about it. And like I say, after we get what we need to get, which I think within five years we'll have everything that we could ever want or need. Um, at that point, I feel like I can throw the money at mental health care. They were talking about it could be like $240 a month. It's like, bro, I don't have that. I don't have $240. I don't even want to spend fifty dollars a month on internet. You think I got two hundred and forty dollars to give to someone per month just to talk to them? I'd rather talk to the wall, bro. I don't know. <laughs> I can't help but be a smart ass sometimes. It's just it's it's in my bones. It's again, I told the lady, I'm like, it's not I appreciate it. And I'm not saying that the time is not worth that at all. I don't I don't mean that when I say these things. It's like I just my finances, I don't feel like are the same as most people's. Like, I the, I, the things I have to do to get my money is like, you know what I mean? Like, usually a little above and beyond what a lot of people get. I know that sounds dumb. <laughs> like, your hardship cannot be harder than someone else's. You don't even know most people's story. It's like, yeah, I know I don't know most people's story, but I know my story, and I know that, like, it's very difficult for me to even do the normal things that normal people do. I, yeah. Like I say, it's just, I don't have the money for it. If I had, you know, let's just say that I had a job because I make, you know, $2,400 a month right now. Let's just say I had a job that wasn't killing me, wasn't super hard, that I was worried I potentially might quit. And also pay me, let's just say, um, instead of six hundred dollars a week, let's just say I make eight or a thousand dollars a week. 
which puts me in a really, really nice spot. You know what I mean? Like a decent spot, a decent income bracket, right? At that point, the $240 or just getting health care in general, you know what I mean? Like, I would like to have health care. I wouldn't. Spending $100 a month on health care wouldn't be, like, the worst thing ever. I just don't feel like I have it with the current amount of money I have and make and where I'm trying to, like, put myself in a year to two years. I just don't have the extra $200, and that's how I feel about it. But again, I'm almost positive I'm going to, like, set aside $1,500 for the rig and computer at some point. Like, I don't know when, but... <laughs> Again, it's like opportunist. Like, if something popped up tonight, if I hopped on my computer and right down the street in town, in the next town over, someone was like, hey, yo, I got exactly what I said I wanted earlier, I would, I don't know, I'd figure out how to go get it. I'd probably go to Walmart and just start, like, buying things for a dollar and then just getting cash back until I capped out. And then I'd be like, hey, yo, I'll give you, like, I'd figure it out. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, but, yeah. I can't afford health care, but I can afford a computer. Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. I don't know what to do with myself. I know I need to eat breakfast because I'm kind of snowed in. I don't want to go anywhere. So all I have is Doritos, which kind of sucks. I'm really hungry. I was really hungry when I got home yesterday, and I was like, crap, it's going to snow, and I don't want to leave. And Yeah, so I'm trying to eat, go to Walmart tomorrow. I need to call... Um, my way on board and figure out a routing number for that so I don't have to go anywhere. I've seen a picture of my stuff, my bowls, and my uh, gear stein, so I'm going to try and get that this week, maybe. And then close that chapter of my life. But, uh, yeah. Hope everyone has a good day. This is probably twice as long as I wanted it to be. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. See you guys. Have a good day.